Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines 2. Today we're back over by our farm and our wood industry where uh, where things are going well. You know, these are all producing, they've got plenty of people there. We've got the bus now running uh, through to this area, which is excellent. So we should have enough people going to work there. Uh, I think that this, yeah, the, there's, there's quite a lot that needs doing there. The, uh, the 649 open positions, uh, most of them just for the well -educated. Educated. Um, the highly educated seems to almost be filled. Educated reasonably well. To say it's a paper factory, there's not a lot of jobs for the low educated. But uh, but hey ho, that's uh, that's that's absolutely brilliant. That's uh, we've, we've got people going, which is good. What's this now? Oh, we seem to have. I think there's been an update because it does look a little bit better than it did before. Oh, there's no clouds. The, there was clouds in the sky and it was sort of reflecting as they moved across. It was really, really nice actually. I think we can... Oh, we can we can actually... Oh, you can actually move through the radio. That's brilliant. Right, okay. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so things are going well. We've got plenty of money in the bank. Um, right, where are we now? There you go. You can see so much more coming in than going out. We could probably... Actually, I mean the taxation's all right. We could replace. Have we got the budget at a hundred percent for everything? Yeah, we have. All right. Okay. I didn't think that we had. Uh, in terms of production, we're producing a hell of a lot more than we were. How is it for ore? Ore. We're. Uh, I mean, what are these guys doing? Because this is ore, isn't it? Are they? Oh no, this is stone. This is stone. Right. Okay. Because we've got. If you have a look at the uh, the old natural resources, we have got something for ore here. So what I might do is, uh, where's my dual carriage way? Right, okay. Uh, right, let's go back to the natural resources. If I bring you round here and sort of sling you through the middle of the ore, there we go. Right, we can put some ore producing places on either side. So we'll carry on with the, uh, right, hang on, ore mining. Ooh. There we go. Right. Okay. Can we can we get the whole? Oh, we can. Right. Let's just make sure it's not overlapping. Excellent. Look at that. Right. We'll uh, we'll go for that. Bit of uh, bring it round. Yeah. Lovely. And we'll just bring it right to the edge. There we go. I mean, there's still a little bit of. Uh, there we go. Right, round we go. Yep, lovely. Right, bring that round. Can we do this without... Just keep bringing it round the road. Yeah, and again. I don't actually mind the clipping so much on this one. There we go. Lovely. Right, we've got some ore being mined. I mean, is this the first time we've actually done this? Right, we'll go for the same again from this side. Yeah, just keep that. Lovely. Right, we can build you up to there. We can actually keep you sort of. There we go. Bring it round the back. And obviously we uh, we need to keep that within the city limits, which is rather annoying. But uh, it's one of them, isn't it? I'm sure we'll manage. Right, there we go. Right, keep you. There we go. Now what we can actually do is we can uh, we can just go on to this. There we go. Right, and we'll uh, extend that up there. There we go. That can... Uh, looks a bit odd, doesn't it, like, like that? But it's producing, and that's good. I mean, ore is one of the biggest... Is it ore and oil? They produce the most money, don't they? I mean, we're not really after producing money. We've got enough money. But, you know, we, we do want to produce a lot of money still, don't we? Right, tell you what we'll do. Because this is getting a little bit... It's not hectic as such, is it? But, uh, I mean, we've got a lot of houses, a lot of population around here. We need more of the uh, the bigger buildings, don't we? So we could... See, these are sort of inner city, suburban. Um, see the medium density housing. We could go for a bit more of that around here, couldn't we? Sort of... Just from there, yeah, we'll, we'll just go for a bit of that, yeah. Take the low density off and just fill it with medium density. There we go, yeah, a bit of all of it. Have it all changed. I mean, these people 
probably aren't going to be happy, are they? And they're going to have to move to uh, more outskirts areas in the city. There we go. They're all going to be replaced now. So that, that demand is going to go down. We need more commercial zones, actually. What I might do is put a bit of... Uh, I mean, what's it saying here in terms of uh, commercial suitability is really good here. What, what's going on here? Oh, that's because we've got a lot of... Uh, right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll pop that as... Uh, there we go. We'll have a bit of commercial there. Bit of commercial here. Bit of low-density commercial there. That's, that's good. Interesting news from the city's export division. Oh, hang on. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. Right, there we go. That means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Right, we've got yeah, the auto yeah. center as well. Where's the, uh, where's that? Ooh, some nice apartments. That's right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say... Right, where can we put these apartments? Trade balance and the economy um, I don't know. Where should we put these apart uh, apartments? Apartments. We could put them here, couldn't we? No. Because they're in the water. Hang on, they're in, in water. Why have we flooded? How do we get rid of that? Does it just evaporate over time? I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? We could put them down here. There's a lot of apartments here. What's going on? Why are we why are we all U-turning here? We shouldn't be U-turning here, that's not good. We need more office space. Oh, we need a lot of things, don't we? Right, I tell you what, we'll uh, we'll stick the apartments. There. There we go. Some nice apartments. Lovely. Aren't they nice? Right, so if we... Uh, an auto centre. Right, we could put that... So this is obviously commercial. We could put that by there, couldn't we? There we go. For, uh, for people to purchase cars from. An auto centre with a bus stop right outside. There you go. You can get the bus to purchase your new car. Brilliant. The company is Road Garbage. Excellent. Uh, sells vehicles. Excellent. So you can actually go in and buy... Oh, that's pretty cool. I wonder if people do. Like, if vehicles just appear from here, that'd be pretty pretty cool, wouldn't it? This bus... Where's the bus line go? Uh, is the 8... The 8's the one that goes all the way up here. That's... Uh, yeah, that's... Oh, no, that's the 14. Where's the 8 go? I mean, the bus line 8. Oh, sorry, I tell a lie. The uh, the 8 is the one that goes to the university. Excellent. How is the university doing? Let's just uh, let's have a quick look over here. Excellent, it's doing so well. Oh, there's a few people travelling on the bus. That's a good thing. How many have you got on? 73 out of 80. Flipping heck. Do you know what? Happy with that. That's good. We could actually do with expanding down there. We've bought the uh, the territory, haven't we? What could we do? That rain's, uh, that rain's getting in the way, isn't it? We could actually have some offices over here. Could have some offices, couldn't we? Right, okay. Right, where's this enormous road? Is this the eight-lane road? It is, isn't it? Eight-lane... Divided road, yeah. Right, we'll build you to there. Lovely. So the problem is, is that university's in the way, isn't it? Right, if we, if we build this just straight down there. Right, there we go. We'll build you down the coast. There you go, that can be the main road. How about a little office? Uh, right, what we do need to do is we need to make sure there's no natural resources. We could have an, an office district here, couldn't we? Is that uh, ah that is also a bit of a uh, couple of nice roads. We could have some offices along the coast, couldn't we? That'd be nice. How about if we have uh, what about some pedestrianised roads? Have a large car park there. Excellent. Because this could be the new office district, can't it? Right. Okay. Where's my, uh, ah, there we go, pedestrianised street, there we go, right, build you to there. Lovely. And we'll have another one that sort of comes down there. And a couple of offices. High density offices. 
Tell you what, let's go for high density offices. They can, uh, they can, they can be. Oh wow, they're quite large, aren't they? Right, okay. We'll go for right, a bit of four, four. Yeah, a bit of that, just to just to try and make them a little bit smaller. Keep those at four. And these can be three. Do the same again, right? Four, four, four. Four, yeah, so by doing this we just make them a little bit smaller, don't we? Right, and same again there. And then these can be normal density office buildings. In fact, these can be medium density housing because we still need a bit of that, don't we? But having these, I mean, this is going to look really... It's going to look really odd, isn't it? These are... Uh, oh, these are these office buildings again. They're so big, aren't they? Does look a little bit out of place, I'm not going to lie. But waterfront properties. Wow, what a prime bit of retail that is. Prime bit of real estate. Right. How about if uh, in and amongst we have a couple of commercials for the people in the office? No, do you know what? I don't like that. A couple of commercials here. Bit of high density malarkey going on. That might actually be better if we do that. There we go. We'll uh, we'll replace it with that so that we can have the... Uh, there we go. Get rid of all that bit of uh, commercial as well, so that these people working in the offices so what, we'll, uh, we'll turn that down to five quid a day I mean these people must be rich, they work in huge great big offices they can afford it can't they? They can afford it, of course they can right, tell you what, the problem is, is we haven't actually got a place for the buses to go have we? We could put a taxi depot here just for uh, you know for people to use public transport Uh, we'll pop a taxi stand there and there, so that taxis can uh, taxi can bob in and, uh, and park as they so feel. Anyway, what? We'll put a taxi depot around here. Actually, where is it? Taxi depot. There we go. We'll stick you in there. Is there? Uh, is there plenty of plenty of taxis leaving? Right. Excellent. Vehicles in use, right, what we could do, electric taxis, right, we'll replace them with electric taxis, dispatch centre and a garage extension, right, hang on, we'll have a couple of them, stick them on the back, right, we can actually fit 35 vehicles in there now, that's incredible, and the good thing about the taxis is they do take people off the roads, don't they? See, these offices are not actually that much smaller, are they? Oh, it's a crane going up. I didn't actually think about the taxi side of things, did I? We've, we've neglected that. So what we'll do is we'll get some taxi shelters. There we go. Couple there. One outside the university and that university. I'll tell you what, we'll sling one outside that university as well. Have a uh, taxi shelter by the railway station as well. There we go. We don't actually have that. Oh, we've got a couple. Right, we'll dot a few round there. Yeah, another couple up there, just sort of city-wide. Yeah, I really have been neglecting the old taxi side of things, haven't I? Right, stick you there. Got another good one there, one in the middle. How about one by the ferry port? That'll do. I mean, taxis, citizens, 296 a month. It's not an awful lot, is it? Whereas if we go for some more taxis, we'll, uh, we'll pop a taxi depot there. Now this is obviously a little bit more out of town, so we'll, uh, we won't go for electric taxis here. But obviously 35 vehicles there. Just takes cars off the road as well, doesn't it? Right, tell you what, another... Uh, we're having a real taxi revolution here, aren't we? Just in each of the little little districts. Got quite a few little taxis around there. Right, we'll stick one there. Another one there. Yeah, lovely. Couple round here. One in there, yeah, another one there. How about one in there? Lovely. And a couple by the airport, naturally. 
Where's the, uh, right, stick you round there, that'll do. I do like how this area by the airport's actually sort of... It looked, doesn't it look good at night? I mean, we've not actually played with the night mode on much, have we? This is because I've had to reinstall Windows again. So, uh, yeah, it's put all my settings back to default. I don't mind the railway sort of not being in existence, to be honest with you. Got the cargo hub going, plenty of things whizzing in and out. Do you know what? I really think we've built a fantastic city here. I mean, just look at it. It, oh, it looks so good at night. City Skylines 2 isn't a bad game, is it? It's got its quirks, but do you know what? I, th I think it's good. I really do. Right, these guys are all going to be coming in tomorrow, aren't they? Going to be driving down here. We could... Uh, mm, yeah, we could and we couldn't at the same time. It must look weird when you work in your paper factory to see all that opposite. Right, should we? We're gonna whiz up here because we need a, a bit more industry, don't we? So we're because uh, that's on about saying that we need more industry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tackle that now. We're gonna uh, right. Got all these buildings here, so I'm gonna go for right. Can I attach you onto there? Overlapping items. Right, we can't actually build you there, which is really annoying, isn't it? Right, tell you what. Oh, there we go. Right, we can build you down. Oh, there's a pile on in the way. Right, okay. Right, build you to there. Yeah. Right, where's that pile on for? Where's it going? Right, it's going all the way over there. I could just build that down there and then that's going to... There we go, right. Fantastic. Right, okie dokie. Let's get that filled with uh, with more industry. More industry. Excellent. Look at that. That's uh, that's really taking down the... Uh... I mean, it's a massive sort of... I, I don't like to build things in a really square pattern, but for the industry, it just sort of makes sense to do so, doesn't it, to be fair? It, you know, it, it just... Industrial areas are very sort of square and generic. It's more the residential areas that are uh, sort of a bit more interesting. There we go. We'll bring you across there. And I reckon I can bring you there. Look at that. Bit more, uh, bit more industry. Yeah, get it all... Uh, get it all in. It's going to be doing some right production over here, isn't it? I mean, the ground pollution must be disgusting around here. I mean, it's all blowing out that way, so it's fine. But, you know, it, it just, it must be absolutely garbage living here. Oh, what's this research? Geological Research Centre. 200% ore deposits citywide. And, oh, right, okay, that might be a good one. Right, tell you what, where are we putting this research centre? We can put the research centre over by the university, because it strikes me as the sort of place that, that would be doing some research. Right, tell you what, we'll, we'll stick that there. Look at that, right, the whole city. Woof. Look at that. The whole thing. Whoa, hey! Massive wave. So does that make them appear? Probably not. I mean, I guess the oil and the ore dries up, doesn't it? Oh, we've got a massive oil deposit there we could use. We'd have to bulldoze a huge section of housing to, uh, to actually get to it. I can't imagine people would be very pleased. Hmm. How have we still got more industry to, uh, to to sort of claim? Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put a new, a whole new sort of... There we go, right, we'll build you out to there. Lovely. Right, there we go, right, build you to there. Put you at a bit of a jaunty angle, there we go, right. Look at that, right, we'll, we'll keep you in. Very, very grid, very grid-esque, isn't it, that? Right, another load of, uh, ooh, look at that, more industry, oof. Shocking. I mean, it's bad for the environment, isn't it, let's face it, but... Right, if we, uh, But, you know, unfortunately, it's one of these, this production needs to happen, doesn't it? Right, keep you there.
Is this because there's some pylons in the way? I think it might be. There we go. Right, okay. I want that filling. There we go. Right, fill it with uh, with industry. Keep it all... Oh, lovely. Look at that. What I do quite like as well is that the train is... Uh, the, is it the subway? It is the subway. No, it's the regular train. That's going to be running overhead. And it just... It's going to look so good, isn't it? When you're down here and you see the train going flying past. It's brilliant. Right, we do also need... You see, the problem is, is the more we put in the industry, the more residential it wants. There's no winning with this game, is there? We really do have quite a, a thriving metropolis. These guys are all parked, aren't they? Anybody using my car park? No. Ah, that's no good. Maybe people don't need to drive into the office. Oh, oh it's 4.30 in the morning, that might be why. Right, tell you what, get that parking fee back up. I don't want to be losing out on money. Must be the middle of summer. Oh yeah, it's June. That's why the... Uh... See, isn't that such a nice little waterside... Waterside offices? It looks brilliant. What if I... What if I do a bit of that? Can I minimise this? No. What if I do a bit of... That looks absolutely brilliant. Right, I want to get rid of... Get rid of that. I don't want to see it. Right. Fantastic. Right, we'll, uh, we'll go for a bit of two... Uh, not two lane road, but dual carriageway, right. Build you across there, there we go. Because this can be a, a real sort of high... Well, you see, I quite like some high-rise residential places. But it doesn't seem to give you them. Like... I mean, like, medium-density housing. I suppose you've got EU high-density, large-style apartment buildings, but it never asks for those, does it? It just asks for the medium. So, again, we'll go for more mixed housing. I thought I'd put the mixed housing in. Oh, it was because I put the waterfront housing in, that's why. 10 out of 10 to anyone that spotted that. There we go, bit of that. Right, that'll uh, that'll tackle the commercial side of things as well. Right, we've got some new signature buildings available. Ooh, what's that? Multi-story. So this is an office, clearly. If I... Uh, what does it actually do? 5% interest in university education. Right, okay, well what I'll do is I'll stick that sort of there. Which has just destroyed that house that was being built, but never mind. Figura building. And Ludo Square. Right, okay. Well, we'll put Ludo Square there. Okay, we can't put Ludo Square there because it's in water. We'll stick it there. Where can the Figura building go? That could go there. It couldn't go there. It could go there. I mean, you won't sort of notice it, will you? But, you know, it's, it's one of them. We do need more sort of waterfront properties, don't we? See, I, I want to... Uh, this is sort of what I wanted to do with this area. I'm surprised this high-density sort of commercial hasn't got bigger. You know, I sort of thought maybe you'd have taller buildings, but uh, it doesn't seem to be the way, does it? We'll stick a bit more, bit more high-density commercial around there. What's this orange business? Customers. A fair few customers there, isn't there? Stick a couple there. What we'll do is we'll build that to there. And sort of bring it round. And that can go up there. Yeah. We can have like this sort of area there. And then this can... Be its own little, you know, it's, its own little neighbourhood. We're sort of just slapping buildings in left, right, and centre here, aren't we? But 
you know, it's it's one of them, right? Get a couple of these in with the commercial side of things. Bit of medium density housing. We'll sort of go for housing in the middle. And just mix it up a little bit, right? Housing and then some commercial as well. Right, there we go, right, a couple of them. And then we'll go for these little bits here where I've left them blank. That can be commercial. Just, uh, I mean, I know that it's going to be noisy, isn't it, for the people that live there, but I'm not being funny. You're living in a city. It's going to be noisy, isn't it? What we could do is, instead of having this as a U-turn and bringing it back out here, we could actually bring that underground and sort of come down here. That might work for the underground line. Right, where are we? Subway. Underground. Right, we'll stick an underground subway station there. There we go. That'll do. Right, so coming out of here, we're going to go, yeah, right, we're going to do a bit of that. Yeah. And down underground. There we go. Right, okay, hang on. I've not gone down underground enough. There we go. Right, bring you underground. And round to there. Lovely. And then you're just going to finish your line. Oh, hang on. Why, why are we not? There we go. Right. Just going to finish off there. Right. Where's my, where's my line tool? Right. You're going to go in there. Yeah. Right. You can go there. Right. I'll... I'll you want to there and you want to there. Lovely. And then it's going to, you're going to come up here, yeah. And sort of go this way around. There we go, yeah. Right. Pin you sort of there. Have they done it? No. I think I've sort of messed this up a little bit here, haven't I? There we go, right. Oh, hang on, this... Right, I've made things worse. I've made things infinitely worse. Right. You're going to go round to this one on the left. Yeah, lovely. Sorry, all these people are going to be so confused. One minute there's a uh, an underground line going from this station. Next minute there's not. They're going to... Oh, it's going to blow the little mines, isn't it? Right, that's good. So you are going to go to that one on the left. There we go. It's not that difficult, is it? And then you're going to stop there, and then if we go around here, you can then stop there. So it actually takes out the need for this section entirely. We'll go around the university and then back this way so that we'll uh, we'll have more... Oh my lord, there's a lot of vehicles there, isn't there? Could this be because I've added all this... Oh my lord. That's... Uh, yeah, do you know what? I think that this is going to be a problem for the next episode. I really do. I mean, we've got helicopters whirring about. What are we? Uh, what are we looking like on the trains? I mean, I know that people aren't going to know whether to get the train to uh, to the office or not. We could actually just have another, you know, that sort of bypasses this all together. Wow, this is just terrible. Doesn't help the fact that there's a load of cars parked on the roundabout. Is there a way that we can sort of no parking? Can we... Uh, right, we could actually make a district, couldn't we? Hang on, what, what? District creation tool? Why can't I... Overlapping items. Why can't I overlap the road? That's really bizarre. I've completely forgotten. Oh, it's because I've already made the uh, the University Island District, haven't I?
Yeah, right, okay, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you have enjoyed today's video, do click that like button, it's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any future episodes. I really have messed that up, haven't I? Oh, dearie me. Right, Theo. Yeah, hopefully, I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.